Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. My name is Nikki and in this video I'm showing you 19 different easy ways to make your Notion aesthetic. These tips are geared for anyone who is completely new to Notion or anyone who's trying to get over that initial learning curve that you have when you first start using the app. So if you are a more advanced user, you probably will know a lot of these. I know that customizing my Notion and making it pretty makes me a lot more motivated to use it and keep on top of my planning. So I hope this is helpful and let's get right into the tips. So I'm going to start by sharing some very basic Notion customization tips that every Notion user should know how to do. First, I'm going to show you how to add a page cover. So to do this, mouse towards the top of any page in your Notion and click the add cover button right here. When you click it, Notion will automatically add a default cover option, but you can change that by clicking the change cover option right here in the upper right hand corner. So when we click it, we get a couple options when it comes to changing our page cover. We can choose another default one that Notion provides us with right here. We can upload a custom banner. We can link a banner and we can import one from Unsplash. I like to upload a custom cover, so let's go ahead and do that now. So all you're gonna do here is upload a file directly from your desktop, just like you would in any other program. And now we have our cover set. Now that we have our cover set, we can also click this reposition option here and we can drag anywhere on the cover to adjust it. So I like it like this, so now I'm going to click save position. And now our page cover is set. A really cool thing about uploading a custom page cover is that you can actually upload a GIF file so that way you can get a moving page cover. Another note about page covers, and also if you're wondering how I got these tiles to show up down here with these images, each of these links to a different page in my Notion, and the images you see here are the page covers for those pages. So to recreate what I have here, all you would do is click this new page button, and then follow the same steps that we just went over to add a custom cover, or use one of the other options in Notion to add a cover that you like. And then you can see that the same image, that's the page cover for this new page that we just created, shows up right here in our Notion dashboard. And the next Notion customization tip I'm going to share with you is how to add a page icon. This is something that you can do on any page in your Notion, and you do that by clicking the add icon button right here. So for page icons, Notion lets us pick an emoji, an icon from their icon library, as well as upload a custom page icon. And just like with the banner, we can either upload a still image in PNG or JPEG format, but we can also upload a GIF if we want a moving page icon. So I found this really cute coffee GIF on Pinterest the other day. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload it to Notion and click save. And there we have it, our page icon is set. Next is another essential customization tip. I'm going to show you how to add an image on your Notion page. So to do that, mouse over anywhere on the left side of your Notion page and you should see two little icons appear. One icon is going to be a plus icon and the other one is going to be six little dots. So go ahead and click on the plus icon. When you do that, a menu is going to come up with all of the options of things that you could add into your Notion page. But to add an image, you're going to click image towards the top of the menu. So like with the page covers and the page icons, we have a couple of options when it comes to adding images, but I'm going to go ahead and upload a custom image directly from my desktop. And then you can see we have our image right here. If you want to adjust the size of your image, you can take these little bars here on the side and just click and drag to make it bigger or smaller. When it comes to where to find really cute images like this, I honestly just recommend looking on Pinterest. You can also find a lot of cute images by just Googling or looking on somewhere like Instagram, but I think Pinterest is still the number one place to find cute images like this for your Notion. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to embed a YouTube video directly into your Notion. So to do that, first you're going to want to go directly to the YouTube video that you want to embed and copy and paste the link. Then all you're going to do is take that link back into Notion, click anywhere on the page and make sure that you see the cursor, and then go ahead and paste your link into Notion. When you do that, you're going to see this little menu pop up, and these are all different ways that your YouTube video can be displayed in Notion. For this one, you're going to go ahead and click embed, and then you'll see your video pop up like this. So like with the image, you can use these handlebars on the right and left sides of your video to drag in and out and make it bigger and smaller. And of course, now that you have your video embedded directly into your page, you can play it directly from Notion. So of course, you can embed any video that you want, but some ideas can be to embed a playlist that you can listen to while you're working or studying. You can embed a timer if that helps you stay productive. You can embed a video that you want to watch later. If you're a student, you can put a video 
related to the material that you're currently studying, among lots of other things. And with all of these elements that we're going to add into our page today, all you have to do is mouse over the one that you want to move and click and drag the icon with the six dots and just drag the element around your page. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is embed a Spotify playlist. So for this one, you're going to want to go directly into your Spotify and go ahead and navigate to the playlist that you want to embed. Once you're there, click on the three dots icon towards the top. You'll see this little menu pop up. Go to the bottom and click share and then click copy link to album. Once you have your link copied, you're going to go back to your Notion and just like we did with the YouTube video, click anywhere in your Notion until you see the cursor icon appear and then paste your link. Same as before, go ahead and click embed. And that's it, we have our playlist. And of course, we can adjust the sizing, we can move it around, and we can scroll through the playlist directly in Notion. Next, I'm gonna show you how to embed a Pinterest board into your Notion. It's really easy, we're gonna follow the same steps we've been following for the YouTube video and the Spotify playlist. All you have to do is go directly to the board on Pinterest that you wanna embed, copy the link, bring it back into Notion and paste, and select embed. And there we go, we can scroll through this Pinterest board directly in Notion too. And if we click on a pin, it'll take us directly to it in our browser. Next, I'm going to show you some basic but really cute ways to personalize your Notion right here in the app. The first one being how to add a calendar. For this one, like we did before, you're going to want to mouse over your page until you see the plus icon appear. Go ahead and click it. You'll see this menu appear of all the things we can add, and all we're going to do is scroll down until we see calendar. The add calendar option is located underneath the database section of this menu, and you're going to want to go ahead and click calendar view. And now we have a monthly calendar in Notion. So it lets us name our calendar. And the basics of using this calendar are very simple. All you do is mouse over the day when you wanna add something, click the plus icon and fill in these fields to create an event. This page is looking kind of messy. So I'm gonna rearrange a few things and make it look a lot prettier. By the way, if you don't want to add a calendar name and also not have this default new calendar text cluttering up your Notion, all you have to do is click these three dots and choose Hide Database Title. Okay, so we've cleaned things up a bit and the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is add a divider. Dividers are really helpful when you want to visually separate out different sections in your Notion. If you have a page with a lot of information on it, they can help you to kind of visually organize everything. So to add one, all we have to do is press the plus icon, look under the basic block section, and scroll down until we see divider. And of course, we can click and drag to move the divider where we like. Next, I'm going to show you how to add a callout. Callouts are great for when you want to visually distinguish text from other text on your page. You can do this to highlight things like reminders, quotes, and anything else you want to make sure doesn't get lost on your page. So same as before, we're going to click the plus icon, look for the basic block section in our menu, and click callout. And this is what the callout looks like. Callouts also have a little icon on the left hand side that you can change and customize to your liking. So of course you can add an emoji, you can pick an icon from Notion's library, and you can upload a custom icon if you like. To type in your callout, all you're going to do is click on it and start typing. You can also customize the color of your callout. To do that, click on the dots icon and mouse over color in the menu that pops up. Underneath where it says text color, you can choose these options to change the color of the text in your callout. And where it says background color, this is where you can change the color of the actual callout. So for example, if I want to make it brown, I would just choose brown background. And you can see that my callout now has a brown background. I personally like the minimalist look of the default option, so I'm going to go back and change it to that. I'm also going to click and drag to move my callout to the top of the page. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to add a quote in Notion. So we're just going to follow the same steps we've been following for the last few tips. Click the plus icon, look under basic blocks, and choose quote. Click on your quote to type, and like with the callout, you can also change the color of your quote. So same thing, you're going to click on the dots icon, choose color, and play around with these until you like the look. I'm going to move the quote up here so I can show you better, but you can also make your quote larger or smaller. So to do that, click the dots icon, choose quote size, and choose either large, and that's what it looks like, or choose default for the smaller option. And I think I'm going to leave it like that for now. Next, I'm going to show you probably my favorite way to customize your Notion and make it aesthetic, which is how to add widgets. If you've been browsing Notion inspiration, you've probably seen a ton of people have cute little clock widgets on their pages. So I'm going to show you how to add that right now for free. You're going to want to go to widgetbox.app and create a free account if you don't have one already. 
Once you're in, this should be the main dashboard that you see. Head over to the menu on the left hand side and click on clocks. You can choose whatever type of clock you want, but for this tutorial, I'm going to choose digital clock. So here it gives you a little preview of the type of clock and it shows you some example styles that you can do. When you're ready to customize, go ahead and click customize and embed. And this is the fun part. This is where you get to play around with the colors, text, corners, and all of that stuff and make your clock look exactly how you want it. To set the background color, you can click this circle right here, and you can use this gradient map to completely customize your color. You can also use the sliders down below. If you have the hex code of the color you want, you can also paste it directly into the box. And you can follow the same steps to customize the text color. Here's where you can choose how rounded you want your corners to be. I usually like to select medium. You can also choose if you want the 12 hour or the 24 hour clock. And this little toggle up here lets you preview how the clock will look in dark mode. Once you have your widget how you like, you're going to click the copy embed URL button in the upper right hand corner. Then go back to your Notion and paste it where you want it. Click embed, and there we have it. I think I'm going to move this widget higher up on my page. And of course, we can adjust size and spacing if we want to. The next widget I'm going to show you how to add is a weather widget. So for this, you're going to want to go to indivi.co and go ahead and make a free account. Once you're on the main page, go ahead and scroll down, mouse over where it says weather, and click create widget. Choose a title, and now we're going to use these customization options to get our widget exactly how we want it to look. At the top, you can put in your location. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to leave it as San Francisco. Add your preferred units. You can also customize the number of days that your weather widget shows you at one time. Personally, I like to leave it as one day, just because I like to keep things visually simplistic. You can also set it to zero days, which only shows you the current weather outside. They do have some other options that you have to upgrade to Pro in order to unlock, but I'm just going to focus on the free customization options for now. They've got a few toggles that you can play around with here. These are probably the most important settings. This is where you can customize the color of your widget. So I definitely want to do that. I'm going to toggle on set widget background color, and you can use the options in this color menu here to choose a color that you like, or if you have the hex code, you can also paste that directly into this box. Down here, you can customize the text color. I'm gonna set it as white. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So once we're done, we're gonna go ahead and click this copy button down here to copy your link. Go back to your Notion and paste it in. Click embed, and there you have it. And of course, we can adjust the size and spacing if we want. And that's how you add specifically these two widgets. But the steps for adding most Notion widgets are the same. Next, I'm going to show you some text customization options that you can do in Notion. So I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to type out some sample text. And the first thing I'm going to show you is how to change the text color. So for this, all you're going to want to do is highlight the text and then you'll see this menu bar pop up right above it. Go ahead and click on this letter A icon all the way at the end. Go under the text color section and select a new color for your text. So I showed you how to change the text color. Now I'm going to show you how to change the text background color. And to do this, you're going to follow the exact same steps. So highlight the text, click on the A icon at the end, and choose your background color underneath the background color section. Next, I'm going to show you a really cool little trick on how to get custom background colors for your text in Notion. So to do that, you're going to want to type this string of text into your Notion. And where it says hex code, that's where you're going to want to input the hex code of the color that you want to use. And where it says text, that's where you're going to input your text. So if you don't know how to find the hex code of the color that you want, there are a lot of ways that you can do that, but I'm going to show you a really easy one. What you're going to do is go to color-hex.com and we're going to focus on the menu up here at the top. You can click on this arrow up here and you can grab one of these default colors. You can also use this color gradient map to choose one and then copy your hex code from right here. Or you can also type in something like blue into this box here. And that's another way that you can grab the hex code for a color that you want. So once you have all that ready, you're going to mouse over it. Click the dots icon, choose turn into, and then choose block equation. And there you have it. You can see that my text now has my custom background color. Next, I'm going to show you how to make your default text larger or smaller across your entire Notion. To do that, we're going to click this icon in the upper right hand corner with the three dots, go down to the option that says small text, and toggle it on and off. So if we toggle small text off, it makes it bigger and this is what it looks like. And then we can toggle it back on if we like the smaller text, which I personally do, so I'm going to leave it like this. 
The next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is how to change your font in Notion. So to do that, we're gonna go back to the same menu that we were just in, and we're gonna use these three options right here at the top to change our font. So right now we have our default option set. It's just a standard sans serif font. We can use this middle option for a serif font, or we can pick this option on the right for a mono font. And I like all of these. I think they're really pretty, but personally, I think the default is my favorite. So I'm gonna go back to that. Next, I'm gonna show you how to change the width of your page in Notion. Go back to that same menu and then go down to the full width option and just toggle it on and off based on your liking. And I personally like my Notion full width, so I'm gonna keep it toggled on. And for my final tip on how to make your Notion aesthetic, I'm gonna show you how to toggle your Notion between light mode and dark mode. So to do that, we're gonna click this icon in the upper left-hand corner. This opens our sidebar panel and you're gonna go down to settings. Make sure you're in the preferences tab and up at the top, you'll see appearance. On the right-hand side, you'll see a toggle option that either says light, dark, or use system setting, depending on what you have right now as your default setting. And to change between light and dark mode, click on it and then choose the setting that you prefer. So light and dark are pretty straightforward, but what use system setting means is that Notion will use whatever setting your device is currently using. So if in your overall device settings, your device is currently set to light mode, then Notion will also be set to light mode. And I'm gonna go ahead and set it back to that right now. But yeah, those are all the tips I have for you today. I know Notion can be a little overwhelming when you first start using it, but I promise once you get over that initial learning curve, it's such a great tool for digital planning and organization. And of course you can have a lot of fun with the customization options. If you wanna use the base template that I used in today's video, you can download it for free from my website. This is what it looks like. I'll have it linked down below. I also have a template tour and tutorial on my channel for this template. So if you wanna check that out, I'll link it down below as well, along with all of the resources and widgets that I used in today's video. Don't forget to subscribe because I make Notion videos just like this all the time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.